well lawyers are not just professionals they are also officers of the courts and they play a vital role a pivotal role at the administration of justice now there are certain set of rules that govern the professional conduct and there are certain duties as well that are enshrined uh, by the bar council of india which specify certain duties that lawyers have towards courts towards clients etc and also a fiduciary relationship so it is very important to understand the role of lawyers and especially what not to argue now it is indeed a matter of great honor for me to introduce our speaker for today's session and in fact it is one of the biggest achievements accomplishments that our channel has achieved in so far recording 100 episodes because joining us today on the virtual amicus is well a man of brilliant intellect an outstanding judge someone who's known for his vast legal acumen and extraordinary temperament so to all the viewers or watching today we are joined by honorable shri mr justice kalpesh atindra javeri sir and he's the former chief justice of odisha high court former judge of honorable rajasthan high court and former judge of honorable gujarat high court so thank you so much sir it really means a lot you took out time on this uh, 100th episode part 2 and you're doing this session for us sir uh, anything that you wish to say before we start uh, with our q and a session now i must compliment the ideas uh, muted by you and uh, it's uh, really high time to have uh, some basic knowledge uh, to the juniors because originally when we started seniors and juniors there was a relation of a real teacher and uh, students or a, like a family bond now today uh, some of the others i feel that there is a lacking the respect for the seniors has gone and even uh, seniors have no time to give some time and uh, teach them personally how to read the file and how to be behave in the court and uh, how to behave with the clients therefore in my opinion this is a really a good idea to for the next generation to do what in the court and not would not required in the courtroom as even outside the courtroom what should be the conduct of a lawyer i compliment the organizers and uh, the idea for this thing thank you so much sir it really means a lot uh, and to me and my entire team sir i uh, can't wait to start this session let's quickly start sir sir question number 1 sir Uh, so what do you think are duties that a lawyer uh, has towards the court of law basically we are creation of the court and ultimately the society respect the court uh, because of the balancing the society for criminal law offenses as well as the civil offenses and uh, if you look at the basic principle we are earning out of our livelihood is court unless we respect our livelihood and uh, unless we respect the profession and the courts we are not going to gain if we are going to blame our gaining institution where we are our livelihood then uh, the basic philosophy if you look at uh, it's our livelihood pay masters if you i talk in uh, simple language therefore courts are required to be respect as if it is a our parents or our livelihood is on the existence and the domain and the domination of the courts in the society therefore in my opinion the every professional whether is a lawyer litigants or a judge every one has to respect the each other mutual respect is mandatory now today and uh, basic professional ethics should be respected in every respect very well sir so next question so we keep hearing about these fiduciary duties that are enshrined between a lawyer and the client that there are certain uh, confidential nature documents that they are not supposed to reveal if you could throw some light there what I exactly i think your you voice is cracking sir can you hear me now mr roda is your voice throw some light on fiduciary relationship yes between a lawyer and the client what do we mean by fiduciary duties and fiduciary relationship uh client basically is uh, first duty is to represent the court the facts and the law and while doing that at least he should uh, not misguide the court by uh 
अच्छा इज देन इश्यू मिस्टर जय रिकॉर्ड इश्यू वेरीफाई यस सर डॉक्यूमेंट इज जेन्यून एंड ट्रू एंड देर आफ्टर यू शुड गो ऑन द फैक्ट्स एंड इवन इफ द मैटर इज लाइकली टू गो अगेंस्ट हिम ऑन फैक्ट्स रेपुटेशन और योर trustfulness with the court should not be loose law uh, you should uh, be trustfulness to the institution and not to the client very well sir now sir going ahead with our next question sir what are the do's and don'ts from your side sir while arguing a case that a lawyer has it's to a very wide subject but absolutely sir so what are the do's and don'ts that a lawyer should keep in mind while arguing out a case in the court room be well dressed right from your uh, face i mean i firmly believe that court when you enter the court room be clean shave being must be very good some people pretend white shirts basic uh, your band gown coat everything uh, wear either the white pant black pant i've seen uh, all throughout my uh, i've used word and uh, cufflinks belt and everything i mean uh, when you present yourself in the court room everybody should know that no is the lawyer or the perfect uniform and room without uh, uniform even say that it is uniform in uniform facing the court the things which you are and if you are not but never don't throw your hands on the court second thing do it and uh, that's uh, many not uh, i mean used there are many things while opposing your opponent never try to even if is junior or senior respect if you are not respecting the your other side he will not respect you see love and respect is mutual how much you give to the other side you will receive it it's uh, if you don't respect him he will also try to react and the atmosphere will uh, generate hit and that's not good for you or the court in my opinion therefore while well, uh, going to the court these are the basic things which uh, you should uh, maintain uh, while arguing the matter or even if you are assisting the anyone never try to uh, annoy either the senior or the other side or the judge absolutely sir you know, you know there are certain really very important points uh, points that sir you made and with respect to court room manism zekorism now sir when you talk you you uh, uh, when you you've conquered three different states sir be it gujarat rajasthan odisha what would be your piece of advice to all young lawyers who are watching this and also if you could give, give certain tips to all the youngsters to improve the quality of uh, argument in a court of law see basically this profession unless you work hard you are not likely to succeed even if you are going to a big office or you are if you are a son of a big council or a some relative or uh, whatever is backing unless you work hard on the facts of each case and you are prepared with the facts and the law in my opinion uh, if you have read uh, mahatma gandhi he said 80% uh, majority matters 80% matters are Succeeded on facts. 
there if you are master of the facts and if you arrange your file chronological and you say that this is the breach i think the basic law is known to the other side and also to the judge therefore basic principle you must be well read of the file second you must the relevant basic section which is applicable suppose you are going with the 226 petition you must know the 226 provisions then you must know which breach of which service rule or which are the provisions of the uh, land revenue provision act land revenue code or which are the breach of a tender contract act which provision you are alleged to be committed breach of that must be known to you and you must go with the basic law then you must also go with the rules regulations many time what happens people are coming for the service law, rules service matter but they don't know promotional rule whether it is merit come seniority seniority come merit pure merit therefore in my opinion when you go to the court you must be ready with first on the facts then you must know the law which is applicable then rules and regulations and thereafter the any exchange of document that is also required to be you must know what has happened on what day suppose it is transfer on what day if it is superseded suspension on what day what are the reasons given on the order and what are the unwritten reason sometimes the reason which is shown in the order is not genuine the reason is something else they want to favor somebody then what has happened what is the this all circumstantial evidence uh, is required to be mastered by way of document as well as on the facts and you must also know which provision of law has been overcome so there are certain provisions which are mandatory and certain are directory if there is a breach of mandatory provisions that first okay, this is a uh, discretionary which has been used uh, unduly favoring the other side and discriminating me on the uh, ground of favoring somebody therefore now in even now this profession is always success has gone to those who are hard working second loyal to the client loyal to the party from whom you are appearing even if you are representing the government you are respect to the court your respect and faithfulness to the institution see particular judge will come and go but high court it's a it's called high court of rajasthan or Raj, uh, high court of gujarat high court of orissa that will remain for all time to come therefore you must address to the institution and not to the you might have a uh, sometime uh, difference of opinion with the judge uh, there might be a conflict with you then try to minimize that uh, gap and uh, respect even if you are not getting the order that's the basic requirement in the long run very well sir thank you so much sir and now if you could share your personal experiences as a lawyer and how times have changed and how practice has evolved over the years i uh, yeah when i entered in 1980 as a law profession uh, my senior and my father told me that uh, legal profession which was noble in uh, earlier years is no longer a noble profession and i uh, tell you after almost uh, Good kid. I must tell you, he was uh, very well predicted. Uh, stand up for the society. Today, if you look at the society, banks are not prepared to give us loan. nobody is prepared to got a bad reputation but still i believe that uh, if we maintain our old standard and if you maintain individually your own standard there are people who respect you as a professional uh, as a lawyer if you give them correct advice if you take a particular stand that particular thing i will not do it this contrary to rules or regulations uh, that will take hard time but still people respect uh, you for your uh, 
uh, attitude for the life and uh, your acceptance of the rule of law even if it is a sacrifice your personal uh, things uh, therefore still my in my opinion uh, this is uh, a this can be the noble profession still we can we can improve the society and uh, we can contribute a lot in the improvement of the society and the maintaining law and order of the society yes sir now going ahead with the next question sir if you could recommend any good books to yeah. read or refer since majority of viewers are young lawyers and law students uh, let me tell you uh, there are several book Uh, recently, if you look at the books of uh, uh, F. S. Nariman, Senior Nariman, he has come out. Then Sauri, yes, uh, Arun Sauri, he has also legal, written certain book. But basic uh, which I have read, uh, Justice uh, N. C. Chagla, then uh, uh, Setalwad N. C. Setalwad book, uh, lawyers book, Justice Kanna. There are several book. I mean. Uh, if you read anybody success any lawyer or a judge struggle in the life and how they have uh, by hard work and sheer uh, dedication see your devotion dedication and determination for doing something for the uh, profession and for the institution will uh, give you a good name yes you should read uh, the autobiography of a person who has struggled to become uh, best in his profession will uh, help you in the long run even recent book of uh, justice uh, uh, nariman also uh, two books he has released it's giving you the idea how the court uh, is working but still i think uh, the books which are uh, giving positive about the institution chagla justice khanna and uh, mc setalwad uh, and uh, fs nadiman book are still in my opinion is good even uh, if you look at the book published uh, the uh, ani palkiwal uh, lecture series and then uh, recently the, the in memory of um, palkiwal like different lectures are organized if you see the those lectures and the some of the judges who are delivering a speech in on the memory of the old people uh, memorial lecture if you go through that that will be a very good now you have a youtube uh, uh, channel uh, platform you can uh, hear those uh, lectures also and so one question that i always wanted to ask but never got an opportunity uh, this was while well, your lecture so as judge in rajasthan high court so uh, how how to improve the quality and structuring of argument as a lawyer so should we adopt an aggressive approach on the dais should there be a story telling approach should we be assertive how to strike a balance sir if you could uh... see my in my opinion which i practice all throughout my practice as a lawyer you should be very brief see ultimately court has only 6 hours 11 to 5 and one hour uh, break and uh, if you look at here is uh, under work pressure if you start uh, to tell him the story judge has no patience or no time to hear that story the base thing is you give in a gist matter the what is the issue involved and then you straight away go to the document which is relevant see if you can convince the judge within first 5 to 10 minutes he will uh, you can immediately convince the judge he, because see ultimately the person who has come on the other side of the uh, bench it's a, he has a, some experience either as a lawyer or as a trial judge he can make out the whether it's a breach or not and if you can convince him within uh, 10 15 minutes well good otherwise beyond 15 minutes if the judge is not convinced i think it's very difficult to uh, convince him beyond 15 minutes so you must be as precise as it should be enter the profession a great judge has told me that uh, beyond 15 minutes even if the great person arguing before us the reception of our uh, argument uh, considerably reduce beyond 15 to 20 minutes therefore 
you must be very precise to the point and uh, you must strike out the relevant provision of law and lastly sir uh, which phase of life did you enjoy most as as a lawyer or as uh, as a judge sir nahi what i could not uh, hear so uh, which phase of life did you enjoy more sir as a lawyer or as a judge both i mean uh, i have no regret uh, that I'm a judge or uh, i have no regret that i left the profession i was enjoying there my popularity as a lawyer and uh, as a judge i have contributed a lot i have uh, i mean uh, covered every issue see if you look at i was never practicing on criminal law but as a judge what i learned on criminal law is i mean i would have never learned if i would have been a lawyer was uh, i have never taken any murder appeal or uh, any criminal appeal forget about uh, corruption or uh, any uh, better uh, offense relating to uh, under the 376 or 495 or 395 equity or murder therefore your contribution as a lawyer yeah, i think uh, there's a issue too i was uh, yes sir please please go uh, uh, i was uh, helping many people no doubt uh, individually if you look at uh, uh, i have enjoyed my profession as a lawyer good clientage i have left one of the leading uh, uh, cooperative movement leader uh, i told him that uh, what i was benefiting to a 1% of the society now i will give it benefit to the larger uh, uh, people persons of a society was what you can do as a judge maximum you can deal with three or four matters but as a judge you can go number of matters in a day therefore i have enjoyed both role i have no i mean i can't say that no i enjoyed more as a judge or i can't uh, say that no 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 i enjoyed i enjoyed both even as a lawyer and uh, even as a judge both role is uh, uh, satisfactory i have no dissatisfaction for either of the role very well sir and lastly uh, your piece of advice to all the young lawyers sir from one court to another court sir uh, traveling to different part of gujarat then coming to uh, going to bombay delhi it was all uh, uh, keeping relation with the different professional uh, then uh, transfer gave me good friends uh in rajasthan i have uh, in touch with second home in uh, rajasthan therefore yes there always a second uh, i mean other dark shade of the life but one has to take always the positive of what i have gained from the both the role and uh, i think it's a great uh, achievement for me in life that this profession has given me sir and lastly your piece of advice to all the young lawyers who are watching this uh, how can they improve the quality of argument where are they where are we going wrong sir uh, basically the... while uh, presenting the case even if you cite a judgment what i have learned i mean i have felt you people are not reading the judgment you are going by the head note of the scc or uh, what are uh, your uh, manupatra why i think a judgment if you read the provisions of and how far it is the provision of law is perhaps between the words the uh, provisions which are there suppose it's the uh, rajas judgment or gujarat judgment there might be a little difference either there will may shall see well uh, adopting the earlier legislation the local legislation may uh, change uh, the wording uh, suitable to them second thing facts of that case and how the judge has applied that provisions in the facts of that case if you can distinguish and what has weighed with the judge well giving the ratio in that matter that distinction if you can make out in my personal opinion even on a good case though prima facie you feel that it is against you 
but you can distinguish the judgment and you can come out uh, of the facts and second thing before citing the judgment how the provision of the or the observation of that judge judgment can come against you that also you are for sometimes if you look at the senior advocate the judgment you cite will find out a some paragraph of the judgment will be detrimental to your client interest therefore before citing any judgment you should read it and uh, you should be ready even if it is some provisions paragraph is coming against you uh, while suppose rules which are made or regulations which are made in the other judgment may not made there therefore you will say that this because of these rules or regulations this uh, conclusion reach that rules and regulations are not made here therefore this will not apply suppose in detention matter there are different provisions in different state therefore you can distinguish the judgment that should be uh, first thing uh, the uh, junior lawyer has to then respect to the seniors who are coming i have seen even in uh, gujarat while i was here or uh, while in rajasthan any person entering to court room if he is senior to you and if he is standing in the court room in my opinion it should a good practice to offer a chair to the senior person even if he is senior in age even by 2 years 5 years the elder is elder that old tradition of ours is required to be restored that other things i have said well dressed well manner while going to the court room you should not chew anything it's a then some people in the court room without permission of the court now drinks uh, water and everything i mean virtual uh, i think you switch off your camera or see ultimately respect as if you are in the court room that's the basic thing one has to maintain while you are uh, addressing the court that to be done Yes, sir thank you so much sir for taking our time for doing this session for us anything that you wish to say sir uh, before we yes, ask... uh, wishing everyone the best of the profession i still believe this profession will give you heights if you work like a donkey and your strength is like a horse i think uh, none never be discouraged even if you are because 80% matters is uh, fate is nobody can change whether it is a junior or a senior only 20% matters are to be make difference on your talent therefore try to make out a case always note down even a unreported decision uh, which will make you uh, distinction in many ways sometimes you are advocacy <coughs> which i always uh, remember in my lifetime one of the president of a local authority was suspended and uh, it was covered by uh, unreported but uh, he has openly used a sword and uh, gujarat has become very with the local people therefore our argument in the court of law was since the both judges have come out of gujarat we don't want to convert gujarat into uh, eastern part of the country and that's how on uh, psychology of a judge we have though there was a unreported decision which not could not be cited by the other side we could succeed only on the uh, facts gross abuse of the position and uh, taking law in hand uh therefore it's uh, always you have to look at the society at large also very well sir thank you so much sir really means a lot perhaps the biggest day on the virtual amicus well we no, no, it's my uh, duty uh, uh, it's a uh, basically you must return what you gain from the society sir uh, two years my in rajasthan uh, i think i can't forget rajasthan has also given me good opportunity to serve the i mean uh, largest area of look at and uh, both jaipur and jodhpur i have good friends 
still uh, uh, and good memory. And I must return uh, since you are coming from uh, uh, professional uh, uh, brotherhood. Uh, it's uh, always pleasure to be with the professionals, and uh, it's always sharing knowledge is always will give you more satisfaction than uh, storing it in a, your uh, small brain. Therefore, sharing is always good. Let us share our good things and always remember the good thing. Uh, nothing is uh, permanent. And uh, if you remember bad things in the life, you will never enjoy your good things in the life. If I cry for my transfer to Rajasthan, I will be never be happy. But I will go on gain from uh, Rajasthan. Not a single person was known to me except two judges and uh, thereafter i am friend of all the judges and even today my retired judge some of the lawyers i uh, working in rajasthan that's my gain not my struggle coming from jaipur to ahmedabad or uh, saturday sunday traveling and everything i still remember my good days uh, rajasthan i mean uh, jaipur a good city that's how you have to live your life Thank you for thank you so much, sir. Meet young lawyers and you uh, individually. I compliment you that you are going with a good idea and serving to the society at large and wishing you all the best for future. Thank you so much, sir, for taking our time for doing this session for us. Well, I can say I proudly now that I created a platform and Justice Zaviri, sir, did a session on that. Really means a lot, sir. Uh, we wish you the best of health, happiness. Please take care. And hope to see you soon, sir. Take good care, sir. Thank you so much, sir, once again. Thank you.